Now that I've shown you how to uh, process and batch, I'd like to show you how to process tray by tray. Um, the first thing is go ahead and create a new template. And I'll give it a name that's all unique and original. Give it a type. I won't bother with the rest of the stuff. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to insert uh, an extra set of steps. And I'll do one more. And on here I'm going to insert just some child steps. All right. This first group here, I'm going to do the traditional batch process. I'm going to just write in batch so I remember what it is. And I'll go to the first step in the tree. I don't want to do this for everything. I'll just say batch. The second group. I'm going to work by tray and batch. Okay, so I'll do this batch. And I'll also say tray. For the third step here, I'm just going to work in tray mode. And for staff, I'm just going to say all done. Keep track of stuff. All right. I'm going to go ahead and release this out. And we'll start it up as a job. I had a creative file name there. Put in a field name. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say 12 parts. And I'm going to use a tray capacity of four parts in a tray. It could be a rack or a sleeve or a panel. It doesn't matter. Visual. I'm going to tell it how many columns I have. So I see a two by two tray of four here. All right. Do you need to give it a serial number? It could be alpha numeric, as long as it's unique, it doesn't matter. Okay, so now I have trays. If I go up here to view, by the way, I can see my trays, and it's telling me how many parts I have in each tray, and how many are scrapped and stuff. And it actually shows me each tray, so I can actually see a picture of the tray. All right. So let's put these first four steps. So this here's just a straight tray, with a little tray icon. I'm going to click on them, and they're going to be clicked on once for everything. You notice that it's telling me for all parts. It's giving me a special icon here. It's showing me pictures of trays here, and it's all the trays in the job. All right. Step two, now, what it's doing is it's taking tray by tray. So I'm on tray one. I do have all the parts in tray step one for all the parts. I say pass. I'm on step two, perhaps item number two, I have a problem with. Type in my symptom, if it's not there already. And I might scrap that one. And I'll go on and pass. And I'll go on, I'm in tray two now. Maybe I'll go on tray two. And maybe I'll rework a part. So I'll go ahead and I'll use the same symptom again. But I'll just say I sent it to rework instead. So now I'm working on tray the last tray. Now I'm working on this three, and three is a, um, I'm doing one part at a time. So I'm doing one part in tray one, one part at a time. You know, this is part two, which I scrapped and already marked as red, so I'm going to hop over that. Okay, so now I'm on the third part, and I can pass it. I might have a failure. If I want to so the monkey wrench into it also another failure up there. Sorry, I'm not very original in my names at this point. Uh, but it's taking me through part by part. So this, I basically said tray, but not batch. So it's still going to show me the trays so I can keep track of what part is left, but it's going to make me go through them one by one. A lot of times you use this, like if you're inputting data, uh, making a measurement of each part or something like that. You need to go one by one rather than just saying, okay, I'm done with the tray, or the tray is good except for this one part. Um, that's it. I'm all done. It's telling me okay to close the job. All right. I don't want to close the job for a second. I just want to go up and show you the trace summary again. So now on these trays, it's telling me I started with 12. How many have I scrapped? Okay. How many have I sent into a rework? All right. And how many do I have left active? And so it's going to show me that. And I've been each part. Um, this one might be the more interesting one right here. 
I can give myself a new summary, show me where the, the scrap parts are that way. I can save that as an Excel file if I need to, for any reason. I can do that with any of the uh, different trays. All right. Thank you very much.